What is a WatchMe file? This video is the video equivalent of a README document, an operating manual, about myself, Chris Stone. Wouldn't it be great if everyone had a user manual, or operating manual, or heads-up display so you knew about them, their idiosyncrasies and preferences for ways of working right from the off? I've made this WatchMe file so as to serve that purpose. As getting to know me, my expectations and habits can take weeks or even months depending on how often we interact. As an overview, my title is Delivery Manager, however I consider myself more of an Agile coach. I'm here to help your teams be excellent, to remove blockers, facilitate continuous improvement in end-to-end -end delivery practices, and to join the dots between what we do and the wider business strategy and priorities. Customer and user centricity. This in my opinion should be critical to why we do things and how we choose to do them. In terms of metrics I subscribe to, you'll hear me talk less often about velocity and lead time and more about days since last user engagement, as this to me is a more powerful metric. It keeps us anchored to our vision and the problems we're trying to solve and ensure we're frequently checking in with our customers that we're on the right track. Enabling autonomy. I firmly believe in fostering an environment of autonomy for the teams I've, and people that I work with. And to that end, I consider it my job to make myself redundant. If a team or organization no longer need me or are reliant upon my input or support, I consider myself to have been a success in my role. This is hugely important to me and I don't want anyone feeling like they're Jira ticket machines. This means that I will actively seek for the teams I work with to be presented with problems, challenges or opportunities with outcomes, rather than just predetermined solutions to implement. Those delivering the work in the trenches to me are the experts and are best equipped to, to deliver the best solution to achieve the desired outcome. Experimentation. I expect the teams I work with to continually run experiments, to build hypotheses and predict an expected outcome, to run an experiment and learn from this by contrasting the actual outcome with the expected outcome. This isn't limited to just to how software is being delivered, but also to processes and ways of working. With that comes failure, and on this topic, I do not expect perfection. People make mistakes, experiments do not go to plan. I believe we firmly need to destigmatize the word failure and rebrand it as learning. If mistakes are made or things don't go to plan, let's just learn from them and approach things differently next time. This way, we're continually learning and improving. So I often say, learn fast, learn often. Transparency. I highly value transparency in what's happened, what's currently happening and what's going to happen. I aspire for those that I work with to feel safe and brave enough to be open about mistakes and failures or otherwise use these as opportunities for improvement. When it comes to feedback, I'm a huge proponent of fast feedback loops and to that end, for those that I'm managing, I aim to have at least weekly one-on-one -on -one sessions and these sessions are likely to be flexible agenda and a lean coffee style so that we can both bring up the topics we, we wish to discuss most. That being said, if something is urgent or you need to run an idea past me, a problem or an approach, then feel free to reach out at any time. Don't feel like you have to wait until our next session challenge me. If you disagree about something, don't be afraid to say so. I welcome new ideas or ways of thinking that I may not have considered through my own lens, or ideas that challenge my way of thinking. Conflict can very much be healthy, and diverse thinking creates better results and outcomes. I have my own opinions, but that does not mean they are correct or should be blindly followed, so please disprove me so that we can learn together. As for my facilitation style, anyone that's been in any of my workshops will appreciate I'm a huge fan of virtual whiteboards, so I'm always using Miro. And for me, that helps me achieve the desired outcome I'm looking for to ensure alignment and understanding to crowdsource the most important topics from the attendees of my workshops and sessions. It enables equality and the ability to interact if you're not physically present, and it provides the opportunity for everyone to have a voice. You may become sick of using Miro uh, as a consequence, but I do aspire to make it fun, and in this particularly distributed working world at the moment, I strongly believe collaborative tools are important. My first instinct when running a session is to open the floors to ideas of how things can be improved and approached, rather than leading with my own biases or my own suggestions. I would rather hear your ideas on how things can be improved, improved, sorry, before I look to dip into my own Agile tool belt for options that I may have seen work well in the past. Any meetings that I facilitate will likely be shorter than 45 minutes because I believe any meeting longer than that is actually a workshop. I will ask a lot of questions and please don't be put off by this, it's my way of exploring around a topic 
understanding its nuances or promoting engagement. And I'll also continuously look to ensure the meetings that I'm involved with are adding value to those attending. So if I feel a discussion is moving us away from the meeting outcomes, I will challenge and look for ways that these conversations can continue without taking the time of everyone in attendance. So I will encourage people to take things offline. I'm very keen on keeping the number of meetings we have down to enable time for everyone to do what they do best, which is add value. A little bit more about me and my personal life. I enjoy lifting heavy things in my spare time and I, I kitted out my home gym during lockdown, which enables me to perform a number of powerlifting or Olympic style movements from home. I play hockey at weekends along with American football. I occasionally run and cycle when I can motivate myself to do cardio. I'm unfortunately sad enough to manage my own personal life using Kanban and I really do live and breathe agile principles in, in everything I do. I live for adventures. In the past few years, I've climbed active volcanoes, I've swam with manta rays in Bali, gone on safari and seen wild tigers in India, I've skied my first black run in the French Alps, I've hiked in Yosemite and Zion National Parks in the States, and I've had lessons with using a samurai sword in Japan. I'm always looking forward to my next adventure. And last of all, ask me about the time I wrestled a penguin. Hopefully that uh, enables you to learn a little bit more about me, do please create your own watch me files, I'd love to see them, and don't stop believing folks. <laughs>